Barry Bonds. This might be the greatest player we've ever seen in our sport. And yes, he's clearly a steroid guy. But what he did before steroids was truly remarkable. So written in the book Game of Shadows, Bonds began using steroids after the 1998 season when he saw the home run race between Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. He had played 13 seasons at that point. He already won three MVPs. He compiled a 99.9 war, 411 home runs, and a 159 WRC plus, and ranked first in runs created over that span with 1,630. Paul Molitor was next closest with 1,310, and he's in the Hall of Fame. But Barry wanted to break the home run record, and when he juiced up, 2001 to 2004 was one of the most incredible stretches in professional sports history. He won four straight MVPs, tallying seven for his career, and giving him more MVPs in that stretch than any player in their entire career. Colby told me this one. In 2001, he had a home run in six straight games, not once, but twice. He finished that season in 2001 with 73 home runs, an MLB record for a season. Barry Bonds walked 755 times from 2001 to 2004. Mike Trout has 865 walks in his 11-year career and has a 419 on base percentage. Barry Bonds has more intentional walks in his career than the entire Tampa Bay Rays franchise. Barry Bonds is the all-time leader in home runs at 762, but he also stole 514 bases. That's more stolen bases than Ichiro Suzuki, Roberto Alomar, Carl Crawford, the list goes on. Not only is he the only player in MLB history with 500 home runs and 500 stolen bases, but he's also the only player with 400 home runs and 400 stolen bases. And just to make things a bit more hilarious, he won eight gold gloves. He's one of the better defensive outfielders in history. He was the ultimate fantasy player. The only way he wouldn't make the Hall of Fame is, of course, steroids. But come on now. Just look at what the man did. And I got more. I got more stats. Keep going. I can just throw it. I mean, I'll keep going. From April 8th, 2001. And this is, this is all a lot from Colby. Colby and I were talking a ton about it this morning. From April 8th, 2001 to June 7th, 2001. Barry Bonds hit 31 home runs in a span of 50 games. God. The most over a 50 game span ever. In 2001. He had 10 games in which he hit two home runs and two games with three home runs in a season. Here are your best OPS plus seasons since 1986. One to four is Barry Bonds from 2001 to 2004. He owns all of them. Five is 1998 Mark McGuire. Six is 1994 Frank Thomas. Seven is 1993 Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds has the second best non-steroid OPS plus season since 1986. He's fourth all-time in war, but first among solely hitters because the three above him are Babe Ruth, Walter Johnson, and Cy Young, who were all pitchers at some point. Barry Bonds stole 224 bases from 1989 to 1994, which is 874 games. Billy Hamilton stole 301 bases from 2014 to 2021 in 898 games. Wow. In 2004, Barry Bonds reached base more times than he had at bats. He had 617 plate appearances, 129 hits on 373 at bats with 232 walks. He also got hit by nine pitches and reached base on errors six times for 376 total times on base. 
He was intentionally walked 120 times in 2004. Mike Trout has 109 intentional walks in his 11-year career. That's it. I could keep going for hours, but oh my God. There, there's something new to find every time you open up his baseball reference page. The new thing that I just found with Barry Bonds just now, the last time he struck out more than he walked in a year was when he was 23 years old. Played until he was 42. 23. That was his third year. His first three years, he struck out more than he walked. Year two and year three were about a difference of 10 between strikeouts and walks. And after that, he walked more than he struck out. Do you have the all-time war leaders in front of you? Uh, I can get them. Can you? Yeah. Because that's the most important thing here is that he was a maybe a first ballot Hall of Famer before he even took steroids. So once you have the war leaders up, let me know. Because yeah, I want to see where he ranks in his 13-year career before steroids in 90, after the 1998 season. What's the number? 99.9. 99.9. Oh, he just needed to get to the 100 threshold. Uh, 99.9 would put him at 32nd all-time ahead of Albert Pujols, Kari Yastrzemski, Eddie Matthews, Phil Necro, Cal Ripken Jr., Roberto Clemente, Burt Blylevin, Adrian Beltre, Al Kaline, Wade Boggs, Steve Carlton, Bob Gibson, Chipper Jones. Keep going. Pedro Martinez, Ken Griffey Jr., Nolan Ryan, Tom Glavin, Rod Carew, Jeff Bagwell, Pete Rose. Ahead of all these guys by before like 10 weeks. Before he took steroids. That, that doesn't count for 2001 to 2004 probably the greatest stretch we've ever seen in professional sports for a superstar. Let's talk real quick about his age 39 season. Let's talk about his age 39 season. You want to rip through it or you want me to rip through it? You do it. I I'm tired. Honestly, I'm I'm actually exhausted from just reading (laughs) his stats. Imagine him playing (laughs) age 39 season in 2004. That was his fourth straight MVP, his seventh, uh, of his career obviously deep in the juice at this point oh yeah he led major league baseball with a 362 batting average a 609 obp in 812 slugging and an ops of 1422 1422 that's a 263 ops plus the second best of his career only behind 2002 when he was 37. This guy was walked 232 times. He struck out 41 times. 232 to 41. Walking 232 times in 147 games, he still managed to hit 45 homers and 27 doubles. His war in 2004 alone was 10.6. And just to put the strikeout and walk numbers in percentages, his strikeout rate was 6.7%. His walk rate was 37.6%. And his home run rate was 7.3%. So he had a home run more than he struck out, and he walked nearly 38% of the time. They just stopped pitching to him. They stopped pitching to him, and when they did, he hit it out. Okay, you ready for my hot take? Yeah, I'm oh Barry Bonds. Winning. Barry Bonds is the greatest baseball player of all time. Yeah. He's the greatest baseball player of all time. People are gonna hate me. I still go Babe Ruth. I still do. I I still do. I he had a higher career war, he pitched. I know it was his era, but he's also a guy who hit 60 home runs in a season. He has 700 and over 700 home runs. Uh, I'm fine with it. I'm not, I'm also not a guy who's going to say that's wrong. Like, I think you have the argument for Barry Bonds and you have the argument for Babe Ruth. It's very hard to compare over era. 
I will say Babe Ruth has the highest WRC plus of all time, and he has the most war of all time. But if we can't go between eras, because how would Barry Bond imagine Barry Bonds his stats in 1927? Oh well, he probably hit a thousand. Got... He'd probably hit right. 180 home runs with an on base percentage of a thousand and a slugging of 10,000. I don't even know. Can you calculate 150 home runs at 160 games? Well, what would the slugging percentage be there? I don't know. All I know is everybody would be saying, boy, this fella sure can hit the baseball. <laughs> that, was, that was great. They're probably like sitting, they're sitting 85. Bonds is like, let's go. 